everyone, and welcome back to Digimon World 3. I have leveled everyone up some more, as you can see. Got him at level 48 for Ursa and Konoichi, and Lancelot is up at 50. As for Digivolution stuff, I have, like I said, we're probably not going to be able to get Imperial Digimon Paladin Mode or Diaboramon. Most like, there's like a maybe 1% chance that I manage to get Diaboramon before I finish this playthrough. It is very, very slim, but it could technically, theoretically happen, so I'm still working towards it. But anyways... For Lancelot, you see I have Devimon here. I've actually just got him to level 50 is what I did with his level grinding, and then I stopped. So I have my Otismon unlocked. All I need to do is get my Otismon to 99. I know, uh, all I need to do, just get him to 99. Sounds ridiculous. But to uh, get him to 99, that gives me Milo my Otismon. And then Milo my Otismon, I just have to get to 40, and then I have to get Gallopmon to 40, who is only 13 levels away from it. So then we'll have Beelzemon. So I'm still very, very confident that we'll have Beelzemon before I finish the playthrough. For Ursa, I got Imperial Dramon, as you can see, and I went ahead and did a little bit of leveling up on Imperial Dramon because we have to get Imperial Dramon all the way to level 31. Also, or not 31, I said 31 because that's level on there. We have to get him all the way to level 99, and I have him at 31. And even at 31, the only move he's learned is Mega Heal, unfortunately. I was hoping to learn, like, one good move on him that I could use other than Mechanical Bash going into this, but whatever. Uh, I do have Metal Guard Rurumon super leveled up, as we know, so I'm still trying to get... Imperial Jamon Paladin mode, but I'm more focused on just being able to get fighting mode, because I would, I'm pretty sure I can get fighting mode by the end of the playthrough with little issue, not sure if I'll get Paladin mode. I will try to though, I don't have too much to do to get a hold of Omnimon, I just have to get War Greymon, and if I remember right, I don't need too much more for that. I think I just have to, uh, I have War Graumon already unlocked on Ursa, I just have to get that to 20 I think? And that gives me Greymon. Then Greymon has to get to 40 for Metal Greymon, if I'm not mistaken. And I gotta get Metal Greymon to 99. And then that gives me War Greymon, who I have to get to 40. And then so on and so on. Then I get Omnimon, and then I have to get Omnimon to 40, along with Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode to 40. So, Paladin Mode is still very unlikely, but it could happen. It's got a much better shot than the Aboramon. Because I was... So look, I got Stingmon to level 40. That unlocked Kabuterimon. I got Kabuterimon to 41. I meant to get him to 40, but I... As I was leaving the jungle shrine that I was level grinding at and came back, I ran into a fight and just, without even thinking, defeated the Digimon, got to 41. But, uh, I got Kabuterimon to 40. You need Kabuterimon and Imperial Dramon at level 40 to get Grand Kuagmon, which is ridiculous that it's that hard to get Grand Kuagmon. That's just dumb. But, uh... To get... To get a hold of... You need Black War Greymon and... Grand Quagamon, both at level 99, which is asinine. That's never gonna happen. I hate that they're not level 40 like all of the others. Every other thing that needs a DNA, like two Megas or two anything at a certain level, only needs them at 40. But for some reason, for Diaboramon, it has to be 99. Everything else is 40, or in the case of Pyodramon, it's level 5 for Xbeamon and Stingmon. But, uh... I was looking at it earlier, and there are like eight different Digivolutions I have to jump through, all of them needing me to get a Digimon anywhere from level 20 to level 50 to unlock, and a, like one or two at 99, to be able to get to Black War Greymon and Grand Kuagamon, and therefore unlock, uh, unlock Diaboramon. So like I said, that's like a 1% chance of happening, it's probably not gonna happen, but we'll see how it goes. Imperial Dramon Paladin mode, still a possibility. Beelzemon, I, I'm not ending this playthrough without Beelzemon. That one is a certainty, no matter what I have to do. I was told by you guys in the comments, a couple of people told me, that they beat the game anywhere from level 50 to level 60, and it wasn't, like, super difficult, but it wasn't just, like, attack and you win. It wasn't, like, a breeze in the park. So I'm gonna try my best not to go beyond level 60, so that I don't make the game, the end game, too easy. But today, we're going to be taking on the last of the optional bosses. Well, I say the last of them, but there are still, there's still uh, Datamon's replacement, but we can't go there until after we beat the fourth leader. Look at how awesome Impiodramon is, by the way. I love him. He is great. I thought I one-shot you there for a second. That would have been amazing if I had... By the way, while I was fighting the their brown Numamon in the jungle shrine that give like nearly 300 experience, so that's why I was level grinding. I didn't go any further in the jungle shrine. I still don't know what boss we're going up against. I only went to the very first opening room and just ran in place 
until they challenge me. But uh, those things... Oh, hey, look, I was right at level 49 when I stopped level grinding. Those Numamon, instead of dropping dance feathers like they do in Asuka server, they drop training books, which the description is it makes training easier. So I haven't actually, like, done the math or tested it, but I assume that means I get more experience after a fight. So all three of my Digimon have whatever power they have, like Dark Power, Wind Power, and Metal Power, I think, are the ones that I have equipped. And then uh, the second accessory they have is the training books, so they level up even easier. I don't want to patrol here by myself. Does that make me a bad trooper? Yeah, probably. How dare you question your superiors? That's not allowed. We don't do that. Hey there, Numamon. How's it going? You were nothing before the mighty Imperial Dramon. You know what I just realized? Imperial Dramon did learn an attack, but it's Mechanical Bash. <laughs> I had Mechanical Bash loaded off of Garurumon, of course, as we know, so that's what I had been using, I never noticed that apparently at some level, probably like somewhere between 20 and 30, Imperial Dramon just learned Mechanical Bash, so it's no longer loaded, it's just his skill. Well, now I know. So he has learned something other than Mega Heal, which is good. And Mega Heal is fine too, it's good to have at least a healing move, I think, on one Digimon. I just want to get whatever his signature move is called. Is it like Giga Death? Is that Imperial Dramon's move? I know that Fighter Mode uses the Positron Laser. That's his signature. I don't remember. I think it might be Mega Death? Is Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode's signature move? I honestly have no idea. It's not often you see the Dragon Mode. Normally it's that you see the Fighter Mode. Be gone, you fool. Easy knockout. Yeah, I'm gonna be using Imperial Dramon for most of the day, I think. And then maybe a little bit of Sakuyamon. But I wanna make I wanna use plenty of Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode now because I'm probably just going to unlock fighter mode off screen. Or maybe get Imperial Dramon to like level 90 something, like 94, or somewhere around there. And then one session I'll be like, we're only using Imperial Dramon today so that I can unlock fighter mode. I can't really do very much, like, I'll make sure to use this Digivolution on screen. I can't really afford to do that anymore. Because they're probably, we're probably, like, within five sessions of being done with this game. Which is why I haven't been uploading a lot of it. Well, that's one of the reasons. The main reason I haven't been uploading a lot of this is because I just have been enjoying Kingdom Hearts Recoded. And I want to make it very clear here that I'm not saying I'm not enjoying playing this game. I'm just not enjoying it as much. Especially when I have to do all the level grinding in between sessions. Which I don't really have to, I choose to do that, but still. So, the fact that there isn't much of the game left, and also the fact that uh, the end game, at least for me, of Digimon World 3 is kind of starting to drag a bit, is why I haven't been uploading it as much, so I apologize for that. But we're nearly at the end anyway, so I mean, one way or another, probably within the next, like, two weeks, all of the remaining videos of this playthrough will have been uploaded, and the series will be over. I do want to finish this, actually, now that I think about it, I do want to have this done, or at least have it all recorded. Maybe not all of it uploaded, but all of it recorded before the new Spider-Man game comes out. And I think that comes out the 7th? Because I'm going to be doing that day of, and so I'll be uploading Spider-Man for probably, like, a week straight. And then Spider-Man videos are probably going to be the majority of what I record before I go to EGX. For those of you who don't know about EGX, I probably have mentioned it in one of these videos, but uh, you might not remember, or maybe I didn't. Seraphimon! Is this like... Why is Seraphimon here, where a Zombamon would have been? I mean, I'm going to quick save just to be safe, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to ace this. Let's go. It's Black Seraphimon. I was about to say, is this like Evil Seraphimon? It kind of looks like it, but then I was like, wait a minute, it's a little face thing isn't twisted. I don't know. I am Black Seraphimon. You've come to this divine place. Now pay the price. All right, bring it on. What do you mean by that? It means you will fight with me. If you win, I will let you go. But if you lose, this is the end. Okay, I get it. Then let's do this. You will not be saying that for long. You had better prepare yourself. Yeah, I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Is this like straight up season four Marukimon? Oh no, it's like an actual dark version of Seraphimon. Okay. 
I couldn't really tell at first. I should have healed Ursa probably, but too little too late. You've got this Imperial Jamon, I believe in you. Oh yeah, we're perfectly fine. Seven Heavens! This better look sick. Oh, it's his signature, okay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That was... That was Strike of the Seven Stars, right? Isn't Seven Heavens the move that, um... A handful of Holy Digimon can use it, but it's, uh, the move primarily that Susanamon uses to bring down lightning and use it as, like, a holding attack to, like, keep enemies in space. It's what he did in Season 4 against, uh... Usamon Castle Lord mode, or whatever. By the way, I may have accidentally made myself too strong because we are absolutely annihilating this boss. Oh no, he's got Giga Heal. Worst possible scenario, how much does that heal you? Yeah, I hate that. I hate that a lot. I don't think I can even properly express just how much I hate it. Uh, I pressed down, but the game like didn't go down. Okay, game. I've been playing Mega Man with RTK, and I've also been playing some other older Mega Man games, 1 and 2. In my spare time, using this controller, I never have issues with my, like, pressing a button and it not moving like I do in this game. So, I used to think I was having a controller issue, but I do think at some time this game is just unresponsive. I don't do a whole lot with this Oh, good, I'm gonna get to kill you before I can heal. I don't do a whole lot with this controller, like... It, it should not have any... And it's not very old. I think it's like a year old at most. Maybe two years, actually, but I don't know. I don't use it a whole lot, so it should be fine. That Strokemon was worth basically no experience. It was like a Numamon and a half. I know of your strength and your courage. I was testing your courage. Sure you were. Yeah, I won't lose to anyone in that category. That's the spirit. You have passed, I'll give you this as proof. The sniper suit. Okay, that sounds like it's for, for uh, Mon Mon. The past will be revealed by courage. Do not give up to any enemy and endure. So, is there like a bug area I can go to down here? What the heck are you doing? Who is this? Nohamon. I'm Nohamon, not a scarecrow. I've never heard of Nohamon before in my life. You have a rusty glove? Then go get Kaiser Fist. Then I'll make you a cooler weapon. Oh, you're a uh, you're one of those armored Digimon that they were like uh, take the old weapons to the armored Digimon and they'll do stuff for you. Okay. No wonder I've never heard of it, because you don't often get to see armored Digimon, other than the main ones from the anime. Dude, Imperial Digimon is great. I love it. This is such a strong Digimon. Fighter mode must be even better, I assume. And then hopefully we'll get to see Paladin mode one day. You know what? I totally should have just used Giga Heal there. And in fact, I'm not going to heal Ursa, because I'll just use... Or it's not Giga Heal, it's Mega Heal. I'll just use Mega Heal in the next fight I'm in. I just want to keep getting Imperial Dramon higher and higher. Bow, bow. Yep, nothing to do here. Alright. I figured that's probably how it would go, but I just wanted to double check. So next, we're going to take the long way to get back to... Uh... How much does this heal me? from 640 to 1. Uh, to nearly full. Alright. About 3,800 HP. I like it. But anyways, we're gonna take the long way back to East Sector towards, uh... What is it called in this, in this server? Quinlong City or something like that? It's Zulongmon's Japanese name, I think. I just can't remember his Japanese name. I think it's Quinglongmon. But we're gonna go back that way... See if anything else catches our eye along the path. And then make our way to Tyranno Valley and fight the boss there. Because we're fighting all of the bosses in reverse from Asuka, because that's how I decided to do it. We'll fight whoever Tyranno Valley boss is. I assume it's going to be some kind of a dragon of some sort. And then after that is done, we just have to go to where Pharaohmon was and fight him. And after we defeat Pharaohmon's replacement, we'll have defeat, uh, words, defeated all of the... All of the optional bosses other than whoever took Datamon's place, who I cannot get to currently. Aside from the dungeon guys, who we're going to go fight as well. Before we take on whoever is in whatever the city that would be in, who is called the fourth chief. 
We'll do the dungeon guys before the fourth chief. Then after we beat the fourth chief, we come back, we fight the Datamon replacement, and then I guess we go and finish the game from there, as far as I'm aware. So, I mean, we are probably looking at, like, assuming the, like, final section of the game takes me, I'll give it two sessions, I'd say. I could probably finish it in one, but assuming it's longer than I anticipate, then say two sessions to finish that. It's going to take this session to get through these three bosses, a session to go through the dungeons, and fight the fourth chief, I would estimate. So yeah, we're looking at counting this one four more sessions. Oh, I'm out of MP. That's right. You are very low MP, man. That's fine. This gives me an excuse to switch over to Sakuyamon. We're going to be fighting three bosses today, so actually, you know what? Probably a good idea to use one Digimon per boss. So we beat Black Seraphimon with Imperial Dramon, aka Ursa. So we're going to use Konoichi, aka Sakuyamon, to take on the next one. And then we'll use Lancelot, who I'll be battling as Gallopmon with, for whoever Pheromon's replacement is. Did I go to items when I meant to go to sword? Yeah, yeah, I did. Put Konoichi up front. She needs the levels anyway. Da, na, na, na. Okay, can we stop? <laughs> Let me get out of this area and start moving to the next one, please. Uh, it's so good to not only have Grand Wave. When I was level grinding as uh, Konoichi with Stingmon and Kabuterimon, the only good option for attack was spamming Grand Wave. And since it was a loaded technique, even though Konoichi has a lot of MP, it took a l it like went down pretty fast when every single attack you use is like almost 100 MP worth. Like, how much... Grand Wave is like 87, I think? 86. Yeah. I hope Snowstorm will kill you. Grand Wave probably would have killed you now that I think about it, but whatever. Yeah, he's dead. Sick. I've seen that death animation more than enough times to know when... when the new Mumon has died. It would be good to get Sukuyamon up higher in levels to hopefully be able to load Electro Bolt or something similar. Stop it! Seriously, this is too many Numamon. I'm so sick of these things. I've been seeing nothing but them for so long. Also, I probably should have just straight up used Snowstorm. Last time Electro Bolt plus Snowstorm did it though, so hopefully it'll happen again. 400 damage. I'm gonna have to ask you kindly to not. I'm so mad that Diabormon is so hard to get. Because if Diabormon was just a little bit harder, then I know I... Or a little bit easier, I mean. that's not, A little bit harder is the opposite of what I want. If he was just a little bit easier... Like, maybe make it a little bit easier to get to Black War Greymon than the, like, eight Digivolutions I have to go through, and then also make it where Black War Greymon and Grand Quagmon only have to be level 40 instead of level 99, then I could probably make it happen, and I would absolutely go the extra mile to make it happen. But I feel like it's just, it's gonna be too ridiculous. It's way too hard, especially on Renamon. It's probably a fair bit easier on some other Digimon. I think I got a bit of a unlucky draw on Renamon in that scenario, but even then, it's ridiculous that Grand Kuagamon and Diabor, or and, uh, the other thing, and Black War Greymon have to be level 99 for it. I really, really wanted it too, not because I like Diaboromon very much. Diaboromon is cool, but he's not, like, super high on my list of favorites. But, uh, I wanted to see the Ancient Greymon DNA Digivolution, which you only get if you do a tag out with Diaboromon and Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. And I can... It might not happen still, but I'll get close, if nothing else. So Imperial Dramon Paladin mode, I I'd say like there's a 50-50 shot that I get Imperial Dramon Paladin mode, to be honest. I pressed down again, but it did not react. I swear this game is just unresponsive. It's the only game where I ever have issues with clicking a directional button. Anytime I'm playing anything else, it's no issue. Alright. Oh my word! This is kidding stupid. Why am I running into so many Digimon? Shouldn't be spawning this much. 
Are you kidding me right now? Screw off. Can't get a block to save my life. Of course I couldn't. No, I didn't! Uh, I did not want to attack. Stupid double click. This is such a waste of my time. Are you kidding me right now? This has just gone beyond stupid at this point. Screw off. Ridiculous, man.